Today I'm going to be working on this left-handed hewing hatchet. By the way, I am left-handed, but for some reason I like to hit things with my right hand. And I did notice the end of this is cracked a little bit and not on there too good, so it gives me a good reason to go ahead and switch it out and make it a right-handed hewing hatchet. I like to use just plain white vinegar for all my rusty restoration pieces. I just soak it in there for a few days and it seems to work pretty good. So there was a little damage on the head of this hatchet. It got kind of rolled over a little bit. Somebody hit it with a hammer for some reason. It looks like somebody also tried to file that off, but didn't quite get it all. I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of it off. Now I'm not gonna make this thing look brand new. Uh, I do like some of the dents and dings and you know, the stuff that lets it show its age. I'm going to add a patina right here using some black tea. Um, this method seems to be the one that works best for me. I know there are a bunch of different options, but this one works just about every time for me. After it comes out of the tea, I like to put some oil on it right away. I think it adds the patina a little bit and helps protect the metal. Here I'm just using some 3-in-1 oil. Uh, REM oil or boiled linseed oil works good too. I get these small little handles from the hardware store down the road. Um, they're really good price and they're actually really nice handles. Um, they're just really thick so I like to thin these out and um, just make them fit the handle a little better.
Now when I try the fit, it actually fits in there pretty darn good. Um, I think most guys would just stick a wedge in it and uh, call it done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and get it to fit just a little bit better. Well, I didn't get on video, but I did take this to the bandsaw and get that shape cut out. And now I'm just going to finish it off with a little sanding here. I'm actually going to use two different stains here to get the exact color I want. I'm going to start with the uh, early American there, more of a brown color stain to get started and then finish up with the red oak. Well, I have to mention this wedge. Um, I almost always use walnut wedges for my axes and hatchets. Um, for one thing, it's a really good hardwood to use and it just looks really good.
all of my hatchets and axes that don't have boiled linseed oil do get a few coats of this Watco Black Walnut Danish Oil. Okay, so that turned out pretty good, I think. Uh, the handle is just about the color I wanted. It's going for more of that red-brown sort of look. Um, the hatchet head looks really good, I think. I like the patina on that. Um, I would like it to be a little bit darker, but sometimes that's as dark as the tea will get some metal. But um, I'm good with it, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.